Hey guys, this is Mary from SVG Cuts and I'm going to show you how to use SVG files with just your iPhone. If you are wondering how to save them, unzip them, download them and use them with just your phone, I'm going to do that right now. As you can see my screen here, I've got the files app. This is built into your iPhone so you can open that and tap the browse button in the bottom to go kind of go home then tap iCloud Drive and if you're not seeing this little folder with the plus sign you can scroll down and tap it and I'm gonna create a folder called SVG Cuts right there. Next I'm going to choose a design from svgcuts.com I can complete checkout after I sign in at which point I'll see a large green download button. Or I could also go to the My Account section and see my previous orders where I will tap the View Order button and there I will also see a large green download button. So whichever way you get to that download button, you can tap it and you'll see your zip file displayed. I'm gonna tap More and Save to Files. It'll ask me where, and I'm going to save it to the folder that I just created called SVG Cuts and tap Add. Next, I'll go back to the Files app, tap that folder, and I can see my zip file. I'll tap it. I can tap Preview Content, and there I will see whatever's first in the lineup there. Your folder always includes a PDF menu document, which you can view or print if you want to print it. From here you can tap this button and tap print and then choose your printer. I can swipe to preview the content or down in the bottom I can press these three little lines to see everything in a list. If you're using the Cricut Design Space software app on your phone, which is probably why you're watching this video, you can then choose a file to save to your phone. So a lot of our designs include the entire project saved as a single file and there's one regular one here and there's also one in the solid score lines folder. Since I'm using a Cricut machine with a scoring stylus tool in it, I'm going to choose the solid score lines entire project file. And in this case, it's called Entire Butterfly Wrapped Favor Box.svg in the Solid Score Lines folder. I'm going to tap that, <laughs> and then I'm going to tap the arrow button, and then tap Save to Files. It'll ask me where. I'm going to save it to my new SVG Cuts folder. Next, I can open the Cricut Design Space app. I'll go to New Project. I'll tap Upload. I'll tap Browse Files, and it happens to be in that spot. If it's not, you can press Browse to kind of go home again, and then navigate to where you saved it. In my case, it's in this SVG Cuts folder, and I can see my zip file, which that's not going to work if I tap that here, but if I tap what I saved, Entire Butterfly Wrapped Favor Box SVG, it shows up here. I can give it a name. I'm just going to call it Butterfly Box. And it's adding it to my uploaded images. I'll select it and then tap Insert. I did that earlier today, so I'm going to delete what was left over on my mat. Sorry. Now you can see what I just uploaded here. If I select it, it's in a group by default, so I need to tap Actions, Ungroup. Then I'll tap off of it to deselect everything. Next, I'm going to tap Layers to bring over the layers. And anything that has more than one layer is going to need to be attached. But first, since I've used the solid score lines, I'm going to tap the little arrow, change it to Score for each of these that has score lines. 
Next, I need to let my machine know to keep the score lines together with the shape, so I'll select one and tap attach. The single layer files don't need that done to them, so I'll select the other one that's got two layers, tap attach, and then the third one which has two layers and tap attach. Then I'll tap tap layers again to make that little window go away and you can use two fingers to scroll around on your mat. It's displaying the score lines as dashed to indicate that they've been set to score but they are actually solid. So now I can go ahead and tap make it which will take me to the next step in the app for using my machine to cut everything out. So there you go. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any comments below. Thanks.